Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. I am Mzim Nyazi, a retired military PTI. PTI is a physical training instructor. And I'm a master trainer at Virgin Active South Africa. And I'm also the founder of Give Guess, which is an online fitness company. If you want more details, uh, check on the description below. Right, welcome to today's video. So today, we are going to talk about class structures now this is this can be any form of a class but i'm going to talk mainly almost about aerobics because that's the field i specialize in so guys what happens is that a class starts with what they call pre-class interaction right so the pre-class -pre interaction it will be the conversations the instructor will make with the members or the participants before the class starts any form of a conversation the class has started so you are starting to interact with the members that is very important as an instructor to have that pre-class interaction then the second part that is also important then is going to be before the class starts when everybody is in the pre-class instructions right the pre-class instructions the manual suggests that you in you greet the class you introduce yourself by name you you create expectations you tell them what class they are doing and you also tell them what to expect from class you can run through the structure of the class you can tell it, tell them the basic things that you think abandon or your people will be able to follow so that will be now your your pre-class instructions then from there you move on and you can also motivate why should they do the class what benefits are lying uh, at the end of the class what will they benefit if they continue with the journey of doing this class then after that you've got beginners that you can address uh, uh, you also have new beginners and new members that's more or less the same thing uh, even though some new members are not beginners and then you go to pregnancies and injuries uh, where you go to give uh, some guidelines when apc is happening what is it they should or should not do right that is now your pre-class instructions then you move on you go to the warm-up now the warm-up has got its own structure you want to start from isolation of movements until you get compound movements from there you can start traveling this is very important for the body as as you are training your people because they will be able to give you more as the class goes because you, you started them well it's like for play you know what i always try to do is is to have movements that are traveling to the front movement that are traveling to the side so that i can cover different uh, directions you know and and you, i can also have diagonal movements this also helps to to work on different planes as you are teaching your class that is there are now your planes of movement and uh, if you do different type of movements as you as you as you teach your class and then from there you want for instance in classes like kick you want to delay kicking until your class is warm and you no know, uh, uh, this depends on many things it could be the weather in winter you will kick later than you would kick in summer i'm just making an example based on the weather and also based on the the the, the class as you started you can tell when your people are warm they will be sweating and all that stuff you can you can also feel as an instructor especially you are, if you are more of an active instructor like i am you will also feel that by now we are moving, we are warm, they are ready, you can start introducing your kicks. And you also now, almost you, like you do with the warm-up, you want to introduce your kicks slowly, lower kicks, isolation, isolated kicks, start taking them higher, then from there you can add them in a movement, right? Oh yeah. Then uh, in other classes like Hilo, you can start adding jumps on your movements when you feel that your people are warm. And sometimes Hilo has got kicks. Then you can add your kicks towards the end when you know that they've been working out and they are ready. Right. Then towards the end, we've got what we call the finale. The finale is when you've taught everybody everything. And you even tell those who didn't get something that guys we're going towards the finale 
take whatever it is that you've learned, especially in aerobics classes, step and high low. Take whatever it is that you've learned, and now I want you to run with it. What you didn't get today, you can get it tomorrow. Now, everyone at this stage is going to perform. It can be five minutes, it can be 10 minutes, I say one song or two songs. It's up to you. It depends on how you structure your class. Other people even go for three songs. But the problem is when now we start a class and we expect the finale. But it doesn't work that way. We have to build towards the finale. And then when we get to the finale, then we can perform the movements and have fun and all that stuff. We don't want to be starting a class and doing all these things. That is done later at the end of the class. And then from there, you get into a cool down and, and you get to cool down and stretching down. Cooling down means dropping the heart rate. You can do a different set of movements that are showing that we're going towards the end slower, as if now you are back to when you were doing your warm-up where you've got both feet on the air, you're not jumping and, and then after that you breathe and you stretch, which is also an important part of the class. Then when you are done, then you've got your closure or your feedback session where you actually say something regarding feedback. Depending on, on the company you work for, some companies they've got things that they may ask you to, to to ask at the end of the class you know and another way is like i hope you guys enjoyed the class don't do any or did you guys enjoy the class and yeah and at the end that's when you're done then you can also get feedback individually after the class have conversations with your people and, and yes you're done guys so the most important thing in teaching it's not combos it's actually the structure of the class. That's what builds a class. That's what makes a class a class is the structure. If the structure is right, every time you go out there, the structure is right, you probably will, will grow in the fitness industry, have big classes, good classes, you'll be, you, you, will be, you will be a good instructor. You will always know what to do. Because why? You're keeping a structure saying this again this is the most important thing guys the structure of the class i am out of here i love you please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification so that you can know when we upload videos and every wednesday we are here and we're doing the how-to videos and one other thing guys please do sign up to the give guest website that's where now you'll be able to get the, the music and also that's where you will be able to get all our full videos because we've taken most of the videos off YouTube. Guys, I'm out of here. I love you. Peace.